so it's getting hotter at the ranch there is a heat wave predicted for the next three days now we've had to close the ranch because we can't ride in hot weather and the temperature is predicted to rise to nearly 40 degrees centigrade that's over 100 degrees fahrenheit oh dear <laughs> extremely worried about the very high temperatures that are predicted for England for the next three days. Shetland ponies prefer cold weather so we have to work out how we can keep our ponies safe in the extreme heat that's coming our way. So as part of my extra precautions we've put some new water troughs in place. There's water troughs in every field but I feel that we may need more and I want the ponies to get used to where they are. Hello Bilbo, so I'm pleased Bilbo seems to have found this new water source. That's good because he's a new pony with us. Hold on Bilbo. Now the ponies love hanging out underneath this old oak tree which does provide good shade. I want them to stay here rather than walk around the field looking for water, so I've decided to bring down some buckets under the tree. What do you think, guys? Good? So the next part of my plan is hose pipe training. Now the Shetlands don't really like being hosed down, but I feel it's important that we're going to need this in the next few days. So we need to practice with the hose pipe. Oh, come on Batman. <laughs> so we've been practicing this with the ponies for several days. At first Batman used to run away and didn't like the pipe at all, but now he's getting more used to it. And I think this is going to be crucial for the next few days of the heat wave. The last part of my plan is to put hay in places where the ponies will keep cool to stop them going out in the field and grazing. I need them to stay under the shade and not expend energy eating. So hay time under the trees. So I feel we've done everything we can to get ready for the heat wave. All we can do now is pray that it doesn't get too hot. Well, it's early in the morning on the third day of the heat wave and most of my plans are working quite well. The ponies are staying under the shade of the tree. Thank goodness we've got these beautiful old ancient oaks. It's quite windy, there's a hot wind and so I'm glad that the ponies are eating hay and not out eating the grass. Especially the older ponies here like Elgin Sunset. Old ponies, like old people, are vulnerable in the heat. Good boy Elgin. Well unfortunately it's hit 39 degrees centigrade. That is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's shower time, particularly for the dark coloured ponies. And here's Dreamcoat. He seems to be getting used to his shower. He's having a shower every two hours and he's getting into the swing of things. <laughs> well done, Dreamcoat. Dark ponies obviously are more vulnerable than white ponies as they absorb more heat. Right. Batman, your turn. You're quite the expert now. Well done, Batman. Very calm. Elgin Sunset is a particular concern as he's so old, but he seems really quite good. He likes his shower. He's having a little graze. Toffee is not a fan of a shower and has now rolled in the dust. Oh, Toffee, what a mess. But at least you're cool. 
So the predictions are right, the temperature is rising and rising, and it's a record-breaking temperature. So all we can do now is pray that the ponies stay cool and wait for that temperature to come down later today. What a relief. It's rained and there is a lovely, lovely rainbow over the cornfields. So I'm just coming to check that the ponies are all okay. And I can see that the dark coloured ponies, hello, Ted and Dreamcoat, who like hanging out by the stable. You've done well, ponies, well done. You're okay. And happily, down in the field, the ponies are now more active They've come out from under the trees and although it's still about 28 degrees, it's a lot cooler than it was. So it looks like you're all safe. Well done, Batman. And the heat wave is over. Phew. Thank you so much for your interest in our ponies. Our summer programme is available to book online at shetlandponyclub.co.uk or you can telephone the office with any booking queries.